the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon update video. Well my friends, the day is finally here. As you can see, HBO has officially released their first full trailer for their new Game of Thrones series, House of the Dragon. And I must say, everything looks like it will be amazing in this first season. After looking at all the different sets, the different locations, the wardrobe, the armor, the battles, and even the dragons, the first season of House of the Dragon looks almost as incredible as the final season of Game of Thrones. HBO and everyone else involved obviously did an amazing job on this show. It was definitely worth waiting for. As you can see, we are now entering a new era in the Game of Thrones saga, ladies and gentlemen. House of the Dragon is here and ready to leave their mark. Now let's get into the video. The first season of House of the Dragon will mostly focus on the line of succession. They made that very obvious with all of the different lines of dialogue in this trailer. For those of you who don't know, King Viserys Targaryen will have to decide who will run the Seven Kingdoms after he is gone. When House of the Dragon begins, Viserys will be left without any sons of his own. Unfortunately, his first wife will die before he is given an heir. This means he will have to decide if he will leave the Iron Throne for his brother Daemon or his daughter Rhaenyra. Now, although Viserys does love his brother Daemon, he doesn't want him to become the king. Now, when it comes to Rhaenyra, the issue is women have no rights to the Iron Throne. This was established during the reign of Viserys Targaryen's father, King Jaehaerys, someone we will meet in the very first episode, when they have the Great Council of 101 AC at Harrenhal. During the Great Council, Viserys Targaryen is elected as the next King of the Seven Kingdoms, however, it was also decided that no woman can sit on the Iron Throne. We will see Viserys go against this law when he names his daughter Rhaenyra as his heir. We hear Sir Otto help set this in motion when he says it's urgent that Viserys decides what he will do with the matter of succession. You see, Sir Otto hates the king's brother Daemon. He's worried that Daemon will sit on the Iron Throne after Viserys is gone. He will urge Viserys to name his daughter as his heir, which he will eventually do, since he doesn't have any sons. When Viserys makes Rhaenyra his heir, most of the lords and ladies will arrive at the Red Keep to swear their fealty. Now, since this is a Song of Ice and Fire, we know this won't end with a happily ever after. You see, Viserys doesn't stay unmarried for very long. He eventually gets remarried to Alicent Hightower, the daughter of Sir Otto Hightower, who is his Hand of the King. Now, what makes this really interesting is the fact that Viserys' new wife, Alicent, was great friends with his daughter, Rhaenyra. We will see their great relationship at the beginning of the show. However, their friendship will eventually go up in flames. It's not long before Viserys and Alicent begin having kids of their own. They end up having several sons named Aegon, Aemond, and Daron. Now, although Viserys will have sons, he doesn't make any changes to his line of succession. Rhaenyra remains as his heir for the Iron Throne. That is, until Viserys dies. Now, you would think Rhaenyra would just sit on the Iron Throne after her father died, but the only issue is she wasn't in King's Landing when that happened. She was on Dragonstone getting ready to have a daughter of her own. We hear Rhaenys Targaryen tell her husband, Lord Corlys Valerion, that Rhaenyra's claim will be challenged. Not only because she's a woman, but because Viserys now has sons, who most believe should be next in line. Now, when King Viserys dies, Alicent and her father, Sir Otto, have the city on lockdown. They begin making arrangements to have Alicent and Viserys' son, Aegon, sit on the Iron Throne before Rhaenyra even learns what happened. As a matter of fact, Viserys is dead for over a week before Rhaenyra finds out her father died. By then, Alicent and Sir Otto have already set things in motion for them to keep the city under their control. This absolutely destroys what was once a great relationship between Rhaenyra and Alicent. This will obviously lead to an all-out war. Now, this is the main story which will be the backbone of House of the Dragon. But let's have a look at some of the other scenes from the trailer. One thing that really sets this trailer apart from the other teasers is the amount of dragons we finally see. In one shot, we see a dragon flying near the dragon pit of King's Landing. This was back when it was still a massive dome castle sitting on Rainey's Hill. This is actually where we will see Viserys and Alicent's son Aegon be crowned as the new king, before Rhaenyra even knows her father has died. We also see many great shots of the different tournaments during the first season. As we've already seen in some of the official photos, we will see Daemon and Sir Kristen Cole fight during one of these events. In fact, Daemon will lose to Sir Kristen Cole on two different occasions. 
For those of you who don't know, Sir Kristen Cole will become the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard after Sir Harold Westerling. Now, another thing we see is Rhaenyra and Laenor Valerion walking along the beach, most likely on Dragonstone. Laenor Valerion is the son of Lord Corlys Valerion and Rhaenys Targaryen. Rhaenyra and Laenor will have three sons during their marriage. However, it is rumored that these three sons were actually fathered by another man. We might even find out that this marriage was most likely for show, and to strengthen the alliance between Houses Targaryen and Valerion. We also see several shots of Daemon leading the City Watch of King's Landing. This will be when Daemon is the Lord Commander of the City Watch. He's actually the one who gives them their gold cloaks, something they will be known for from here on out. One thing Daemon loves to do while Lord Commander of the City Watch is instill some law and order among the small folk. This isn't the only thing we will see Daemon do, however, in the first season. He will be a very busy man, along with his friend Lord Corlys Valerion. Daemon and Lord Corlys will start a war of their own, when they fight a series of land and naval battles on the Stepstones. After Viserys refuses to name Daemon as his heir, he decides to build a kingdom of his own, so him and Corlys begin striking these small islands for ultimate control. Daemon will eventually be named as the King of the Stepstones and the Narrow Sea. However, he won't hold this for very long. Another character we meet in the trailer is Aemon One-Eye Targaryen, the son of Viserys and Alicent. As you can see, he wears an eye patch over one of his eyes, thanks to Rhaenyra's son. You see, Aemon and his siblings became bitter rivals of Rhaenyra's sons for stealing their birthright. Another thing that will happen is King Viserys will suggest that Aemon, who out of all his siblings was the only one who didn't have a dragon of his own, could claim a dragon egg or hatchling on Dragonstone for his own, if he was bold enough. Annoyed by his father, Aemon resolved to claim Vagar, the oldest of the dragons who had recently become riderless with the death of Lena Valerion. Now, Aemon, who knew that his father would not allow him near the dragon, went to make this ride in secret. Only Aemon was caught by his three-year-old nephew Joffrey, who is one of Rhaenyra's sons. Now, in order to keep him quiet, Aemon slapped and threatened the younger boy, before shoving him into some of the dragon droppings. After Joffrey began to yell, Aemon climbed on the top of Vagar's back. The dragon broke free of her chains, and Aemon flew in circles before landing. Joffrey, however, had alarmed his older brothers Jacaris and Lucaris Valerion. The four boys fought with wooden swords. That is, until Aemon called his nephews Strongs, insisting that they were bastards. Jacaris, who was old enough to understand the insult, attacked Aemon again. Now, when Aemon gains the upper hand and begins to beat Jacaris savagely, Lucaris drew his dagger and slashed at Aemon's face, removing his right eye. After this incident, Alicent demanded that Lucaris lose an eye as well, which King Viserys refused, while Rhaenyra demanded that Aemon was also to be held accountable. Since he was suggesting they were bastards, and therefore Rhaenyra was guilty of high treason by sleeping with Sir Harwin Strong, this was a big issue. As you can see, this incident causes a lot of issues among Rhaenyra and Alicent, further dividing their friendship. The first season will have a lot of drama, dividing House Targaryen right down the middle, leading to enough fire and blood that will leave this once large house and its dragons in shambles. I would get ready, ladies and gentlemen, because House of the Dragon is finally here. If any of you want to know all of the little details regarding these events, I will link some of my other videos down below. I don't want to ruin everything in this video because I'm sure some of you don't want to know everything just yet. But for those of you who do, there are more videos down below where I go over everything that's written in George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm very happy with how everything looks and feels with what I've seen so far. All of the actors look great in their roles, and the sets in the different locations, and the different wardrobes and armor, and the damn dragons look amazing. I cannot wait for the show to finally air. I hope all of you come back here when I make all of my videos during the season. I have so many more heading your way. As always, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.